Hey there friends, it's Paul and welcome to another video and today we will be customizing Helix Dragonoid. The plan for this customizing project will be to give Dragonoid a bit more of his anime colors look. However, due to the availability of my Gundam markers at the moment, this will be version number one of this Drago, which I'll explain shortly. As you know, I always like to tell the stories or give random facts of my Bakugan. So regarding this Drago, he was the last or one of the last Bakugan I ever got at an actual physical store here where I live. And that was like 10 years ago and it's pretty wild. So yeah, there's the random Bakugan fact of the day. Okay, going back to the custom, for this one I used a yellow Gundam marker to paint all the inner details of Drago. Afterwards my plan was to mix it with the red Gundam marker to have a type of orangish paint for the outer details. However, my yellow paint just dried up as I was finishing with all the inner details, so I had to improvise and mix the red with the metallic yellow Gundam marker I got. So for this initial version, the outer details will look a bit more metallic, and once I get a new set of markers, I'll be recoloring all the outside. Okay, so beginning this custom, we will first color all those small details in the middle section just below Drago's torso. In this section, as in most of the custom, I'll be mainly using the super mega small brush I got. This brush has become one of my go-to ones because it's the best in my mini collection. Since most details in Bakugan are quite small, this brush helps to get the job done. And what is better is that after all the customs I've done using this brush, it remains quite in a good state. Sometimes after you use brushes like one or two times, you know, the little hairs will begin to open up, making them more difficult to work with. But the hairs of this little brush are perfectly, basically, to this day. So that's good, and this one will last for quite more customs in the future. Now we will continue by painting the inner details in what I'd say is Dragonoid's wings. Here I wanted to talk a bit about the yellow Gundam marker. In my experience with this color, it tends to be a bit difficult to work with, and the biggest reason is that this paint always struggles to attach to the plastic of figures. This means that in many cases, to have a decent finish on a certain area, you'll have to apply three or four layers of paint. Sometimes the paint also dries in a bit of a weird way, and some of it just decides to spread around an area, leaving a small hole. And that's so frustrating when it happens. In many cases, my recommendation when using this color is to give light taps of paint in an area you want to cover, instead of doing what you'd normally do. Here we finish painting the inner details of Dragonoid by painting the details on the back of his torso. When I reached this section I knew that the yellow Gundam marker was about to dry up so I was quite stressed out because I thought that there wasn't enough paint inside the marker and I didn't want to leave an area unfinished but thankfully just after finishing this part the marker completely died so RIP to my yellow Gundam marker.
Now to begin the outer details, we continue to paint the details of Dragonoid's feet. As I mentioned before here, the original idea was to paint these areas with a normal orange color by mixing yellow and red. But since my yellow Gundam marker died, I had to use the metallic yellow I had in my box of colors, so yeah, I had to improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> Here I painted Dragonoid's chest with the metallic orange I made. And before doing this I had painted Drago's core using some metallic blue I had to give it a shiny finish. Now we continue by painting the details on the bottom half of Dragonoid, at the sides and on his tail, and here I gotta say that I was actually surprised that the orange mix of metallic yellow and normal red Gundam markers actually worked. Cause last week when I was doing my Storm Skyris I tried mixing the metallic yellow I have with some other random color I don't remember at the moment, but those two didn't mix at all. And I was expecting the same to happen here with the metallic yellow and red, but they worked so yay for that. And here we continue by painting Dragonoid's horns and his eyebrows, I guess? <laughs> and here what also surprised me quite a lot from this orange mix is how well it was sticking to all surfaces. Most of the time I just had to apply one or two layers of paint to a certain detail and it was done. So that was really helpful to speed up the entire painting process because I was nervous that this orange mix was going to be as problematic as the normal yellow Gundam marker. And to finish this custom we paint those outer details of Dragonoid's wings and once again the orange paint was working like a charm in this area so we can speed through this section to the finish line. And this Dragonoid custom is finally complete! And despite the metallic orange paint not being part of my initial plan, I gotta say that I'm liking the way that Dragonoid's looking right now. Cause that metallic finish makes Drago look quite unique and it's great. As I said in the beginning of the video, in the future when I get some new paints, I'll probably be repainting all those orange details so that they have the same finish as the yellow ones. Or I could try and get another Helix Dragonoid and paint that one with the normal Gundam markers. But I don't know yet. <laughs> but yeah my friends, this has been my custom tutorial slash random commentary as I painted Helix Dragonoid. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like, and if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I post videos every Monday and Friday. Thank you for watching the video, and yep, it's been Paul, and I'll see you in the next video.